there are quite a number of stories about animals. Um, I got slightly anxious when I was trying to choose what stories to include in the volume we titled The Road, because um, I seem to have ended up with an awful lot of stories about animals, and I thought, oh God, am I being sentimental? Um, so I took my copy of the Russian collection to my friend Igor Golomstog, the same man who first showed me life and fate 30 years ago, and asked him to choose his favorite stories. And um, Igor is one of the least sentimental people I know, so um, when Igor chose more or less the same stories, I felt confident that I was doing the right thing. These stories, which are, again, hugely varied, and they include a story called The Dog, which is about, um, again, it's quite close to real life, is uh, an account of um, not the first dog to be sent up in a Sputnik into space, but the first dog to be sent up and to come back to Earth alive. So um, the life of this dog starts off with the dog just being a kind of happy mongrel, a happy young mongrel puppy roaming around the streets. Um, that's one story. And then there's the title story, The Road, which um, my fantasy, I mean, Grossman never said this himself, but my fantasy is that Grossman was wanting to compensate himself for the arrest of the manuscript of Life and Fate. And um, so The Road is, in a way, Life and Fate in miniature. Um, the word Stalingrad itself is never used, but it is the Stalingrad campaign um, seen from the point of view of a mule who is um, pulling munitions in an Italian artillery regiment. We get the long advance of the Italian and German armies across Eastern Europe through Ukraine, um, starting in summer, then autumn, and the endless mud, then snow, which is new to this Italian mule. And um, it's a very, very, there's a lot of humor in it. There's a lot of philosophical depth to it. The mule, though obviously inarticulate, it is able to think, and in its slow, mulish way, it faced with the Russian plain, or the plains of the Ukraine and the winter, it arrives in its slow way of thinking at something approaching the concept of infinity. Although there is a lot that is very grim in the story, it does end rather tenderly with the mule being captured. The mule survives the Battle of Stalingrad, it's captured by the Russians and it starts to make friends, it's a male mule, it starts to make friends with a Russian mare that it is put in harness with. That's how the story ends. So these late stories are quite innovative. Grossman is doing new things in them. They're much, much more elliptic than Life and Fate.